Thank you very much, uh, gentlemen chairman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor and a very, very big pleasure uh, to uh, welcome you here today and for thanking you for coming to Brussels. We're sorry about the weather, um, but we are extremely grateful that you have come today. Some of you have come a very, very long way, others a little bit closer, but wherever you come from, you are here, and that means a lot uh, to us today. With us today, we have experts from law enforcement, from NGOs, from industry, and many, many others. And I don't know all of you personally, but I know that in this room, we have some of the best experts in the world gathered in this room. And I'm very honored to announce that we will have Her Majesty Queen Paula of Belgium. She has a known commitment to the work uh, to help children. And she has agreed to be the high patron of this conference. And the Queen will join us around noon for the session on awareness raising. It would also be a great pleasure for me uh, to announce to you that we will also be joined by Mrs. Barroso, who also has a long history of working with children and to bring them in a safer environment. As you know, we are here today to launch the Global Alliance Against Child Sexual Abuse Online. And we do that because we, need, we know that we need to do more to fight this horrible crime. Child sexual abuse material circulates easily across jurisdictions, across borders, via different channels on the internet. And global efforts to reduce the circulation are still insufficient. Only a fraction of the material is taken down and they frequently reappear again. And once a picture has been posted, a child abuse image can remain there forever. And every time someone watches it, that child is being abused again and again and again. Not enough child victims are being identified. Not enough perpetrators are brought to justice. And we know that child sexual abuse online offences are often closely linked to the actual act of hand-on abuse. Child sexual abuse offenders those days operate in international online groups that take very sophisticated measures, such as the use of anonymizing technologies and security protocols to hamper the efforts of law enforcement to investigate these crimes. And as a result, the phenomenon of child sexual abuse online and exploitation has reached alarming proportions. One year ago, the Attorney General of the United States, Mr. Eric Holder, and I agreed that we needed to put this problem on the top of the agenda and take more action. And we thought the best way forward would be to build a global alliance with justice ministers and interior ministers from around the world. And in less than one year from that discussion, we're here today with 48 countries represented <coughs> to launch the global alliance against child sexual abuse online. And by joining this alliance, ministers commit themselves to pursue key policy targets and goals to combat these crimes. And to make this work, we all have to take ambitious actions on the home front. We pledge to work to identify more child victims and to help to protect them. We will undertake efforts to enhance investigations and prosecute offenders. We commit ourselves to make children aware of online risks so that they can enjoy their online life without fear. And we pledge to reduce the availability of online child sexual abuse material. The Global Alliance is not an international treaty. It is not an international organization. It's a common endeavor of countries that are serious about protecting children. The Global Alliance do not tell countries what exact actions they need to undertake to reach our common goals. It is for each country to decide in the way they see fit, taking account of each national legislation, the systems, the structures, and the resources. But we jointly commit to achieve certain goals, and we ask the members of the Alliance to identify and announce the specific actions they will be undertaking, to carry them out, to report them back to this forum, and to spread experiences and best practices. The Global Alliance can and will provide support and inspiration on what each country can do, what has worked well elsewhere, and equally important, what has not worked. It can also encourage participating countries to become members of other initiatives, such as the excellent Global Virtual Task Force, where Europol plays a very important role, or the Child Online Protection Initiative. And it, it can also uh, have their national hotline join the InHope network. This is why the Global Alliance is not a competitor of any other international initiatives. On the contrary, it's a supporting element. It is only when our different initiatives can complement each other that we can be truly successful. 
Some might say that the Global Alliance is just about political commitments without any legally binding obligations, so there's no really need to follow up. I disagree. The political commitment at ministerial level means that countries will be undertaking improvement to protect children from sexual abuse online. And the effectiveness of the alliance will be measured by the level of ambitions and consistency of its member. If all 48 countries take concrete action, progress will be enormous. If the countries make improvements in only some areas, progress will be modest. Either way, we will be able to help more children to escape abuse and trauma, and that is way, what makes our common efforts worthwhile. You here are all experts where the Global Alliance can make a difference. When, in one year's time, the Ministers of Interior or Ministers of Justice in your country will be deciding on legislation or where to direct resources or reaching out for cooperation in order to pursue our common goals. As experts, you will be there. And it will be your advice, your expertise that will be sought. It will be your commitment, your knowledge, your dedication that will transform political will into actual deeds. And that is why your commitment and presence here is so crucial. As we take our work forward in the Global Alliance, your engagement and expertise will make all the difference. And that is why I want to thank you for having made the travel to come here, of being here to share with us, with your colleagues, your knowledge, your background, your expertise. I'm very happy that we have now been joined by Mrs. Barroso, your commitment to fight children who are vulnerable, children who are abused, and to protect them is very well known. So thank you for, for being here with us today. And thank you once again for coming. I wish you a very good and successful conference, and thank you for your kind attention.